practice. Hi guys, welcome to another segment of Legal Friday with me, Francine. So earlier this week, I got a phone call from a potential client. She's a yoga teacher, and she wanted to know if she could register her yoga positions with the copyright office. And I said to her, sorry, but yoga can't be protected by copyright. She said, but I heard that copyright protects pantomimes and choreographed works. So wouldn't yoga fall under the category of choreographed works? I said, the courts don't see it that way. The courts have actually determined that yoga uh, is exercise, not dance. And plus yoga doesn't rise to the level of, of being original enough to be considered for copyright protection. And again, if you keep in mind, copyright protects original works of art or authorship reduced to a tangible format. She says, well, I still don't understand it. And I said, I got it, but you know, that's just the way it is. And I told her, and I'll tell some of you that are familiar with yoga, especially if you're familiar with Bikram yoga, which when I do yoga, I like Bikram. That's the 26 positions where you're in a room that's super hot. So Mr. Bikram himself tried to have his 26 positions registered with the copyright and not with the copyright office a number of years ago, and the copyright office rejected him. And he took it to court and the court said, nope, nope, and nope. That yoga, again, is not original enough to rise to the level of having protection by copyright. And yoga is exercise, not dance. So I thought it was a really great topic to bring up because number one, maybe there's some of you who are choreographers or you have friends or family who are choreographers and maybe their, their choreographed works or their, their pantomimes actually do rise to the level of being original. Maybe if they haven't already thought about it, maybe it's time to consider having their work um, their works of art are actually protected by copyright. The other thing is just this morning, I got an email from the copyright office. Now I've shared with you the copyright.gov website. It is honestly an amazing resource. And they have a blog uh, periodically that they put out. And it just so happens that this morning, the blog had to do with dance, protecting choreographed works. And they actually referenced the very first person who ever received a copyright registration for choreographed works. And it was a woman and it was February 25th, 1952. Her name was Hania Holmes. She's now passed away. She died back in 1992. But she got the first copyright registration for chore choreography in 1952. And it was for the choreographed work she did for the Broadway play, Kiss Me Kate. So definitely choreographed works, if they rise to the level of originality, can be protected. But sadly, yoga moves cannot. All right, that's it for now. I'm Francine. This is Legal Friday with me, Francine. Have a great weekend, guys. Bye-bye.